So in this video, I'm gonna be going over this Mexican pizza trend. I, I hate the name, it's not a pizza. This is a quesadilla, that's what it is. It just has a lot of toppings. Either way, delicious. This has multiple recipes in it, so you'll have to backtrack to like two or three videos, but it's worth it. I mean, check this out. I'm gonna make my own flour tortillas for this. I've done this many times, so if you want the recipe, it'll be down below. Starts off with some warm H2O flour, followed by bacon fat. If you don't have bacon fat, you can use like oil, olive oil, rice oil, clarified butter, you get it, fat. And then kosher salt. Then we just mix the living shit out of it for about one to two minutes on high. After that, that's what it should look like right there. Nice and soft. Cover it up with a towel or something. Let it sit for around 10 minutes. This is very important. If you don't rest it, it's gonna be a very elastic and it's gonna go back into itself when you roll it. So make sure to let it rest. Once your dough is fully rested, we're going to get flour and dust the f out of your table and we're gonna roll out those flour tortillas. So separate them into equal sized portions. I'm going to do pizza sized portions cause it's Mexican pizza. It's not, it's a quesadilla. There's a ball, make it any size you want. But since we're making Mexican pizza, I need them to be kind of big balls. Make a big tortilla. You get it? You get where we're going here? Big balls. Anyways, large balls, roll them out. What I like to do is roll, then turn, roll, then turn, roll, and turn, and repeat the process. Make sure you have a really well floured surface, by the way. Once that's rolled out, I toss it onto my flat top. Now I'm just going to cook it off at 350 until it bubbles up. And then once all those bubbles stop expanding, that's when you know it's time to give it a flip. Also, if you don't have a flat top like this, you can totally use a nonstick pan or a cast iron skillet. And then I went ahead and shredded some cheddar cheese. I would also recommend some queso Oaxaca. That's a really good melty cheese as well. Mine went bad, so I can't use that today. Now we're building this quesadilla, sorry, pizza. Cheese down on the flat top, followed by the tortilla. You put that on top and that's gonna form a cheese crust. And that's gonna be delicious. You just let that set and it's gonna be just this like really crispy crunch. It's gonna add texture to it. And it's really good. So once you got that working, we top that tortilla with some more cheese, followed by some beef knuckle that I braised. And if you want the recipe for this, just check out the video link down below or up here somewhere. Let that go. And then we put another tortilla on top of that. And that's when we start forming the toppings that make it like our pizza. We do a Valentina crema, which is literally just Valentina plus crema mixed together. And then we just put that right on top, spread it all around followed by some more cheddar cheese, then more toppings, jalapeno, and then queso fundido, then the beef knuckle, pickled onion, cilantro, and then a squeeze of lime, of course, some avocado, and then some of my flaky salt. And there we have a quesadilla. It's not Mexican pizza. I hate to disappoint you. It's a quesadilla, but it still looks delicious. There it is. A Mexican pizza, a quesadilla. Let's try it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's money right there. I would eat this whole thing. This is everything I want it to be. This is so good. 